Hello there, and happy Halloween. I'm Chip Higgins. Get ready to join me on the inside of this exciting groundbreaking report. Do you believe in the supernatural? If you don't, you soon will. We've been invited to the 10th anniversary neighborhood block party, hosted by medium and necromancer Trudy Whitfield, where the guest just happened to be Ghost. Tonight, we find ourselves inside the dead. I'm Trudy Whitfield, and every year I throw a Halloween party for the ghosts in my neighborhood. I'm a medium, and every year we get together to sit around and talk shop, uh, talk about our most recent haunting, and give out a prize for best spook. I guess I've just always identified with ghosts more than people. Oh, and this year we have a celebrity guest coming. Oh, I want this to be the best Halloween ever. I'm really nervous. I want it to be a great night. It will be a great night. Spirits are so high. Internet. I don't know what that is. She's playing her house. She's saying, How's the party going over here? This is our second year attending the annual Halloween bash. Someone said James Dean was coming this year. What? And I thought last year was great. I'm giving her a hall pass. I'm waiting for Lucy Lawless. Alex! <laughs> I love Xena. Trudy is so sweet for hosting this every year. But those ghost puns. Goddamn. Mm. <gasps> well, hey there, ghost. You guys come here together? Heavens no, I'm a colonel of the Confederate Army and I am all man. Unlike this here dandelion. Ghost please! Like I'd even be caught in public with your crusty, musty old racist ass. You guys should work it out. Ex <coughs> excuse, excuse me? Um, I was just hoping I could steal a minute of your time so that I could ask. Oh, of course. <laughs> but if you want an autograph, you'll have to wait. I'm without any decent glossies at the moment. I love old Hollywood, Ms. Wells. I was just hoping I could ask you to... To hear a song? Of course. I'd be happy to, uh... uh... Gordon. Gordon, yeah. yes. <laughs> you know... Before my accident, I nearly originated the role of Maria in The Sound of Music. That's the song she sings. I don't remember that one. No, it's the main song. I'm the new guy on the block. It's my first Halloween party. Just the people. I mean, Vivian Wells is here. James Dean is coming. Come on. I thought I had problems with the ladies before. But seriously, I'm terrible with women. Man, I am so over this whole thing. The party? No, being dead. One meaningless day after another. Never ending. Nothing to look forward to. You know, some people say that about life. I hated being alive. But at least I could look forward to dying. I just thought the afterlife would be different. Well, it seems you're into leather. Ugh, you so don't get it. Aren't you excited about James Dean no. coming today? She's sweet. <laughs> you haven't lived until you know Everyone, really everyone, I hope you're all having a good time at the party this oh, year. A grand time. But it's about to get even grander. <laughs> the grandest of the grand. We are about to welcome our guest of, of honor. So stay tuned, boys and ghouls. Uh, James Dean should be arriving any time. And thanks again to Henry for inviting him. Do you know I slept with James once on the Paramount lot? He said, and I quote, you were a better lay than Rock Hudson or Elizabeth Taylor. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gordon. Thank you, yes. Oh, go on, please. Go on, Gordon. Thank you. My wife wants him real bad. Well, she should. He's wonderful. <laughs> yes, I know James Dean. He's an honorable man with a hearty disposition. He can be a bit of a scoundrel, though. This neighborhood is so suburban, not even Beyonce can turn it up. But Frankie Frank has arrived. I'm fierce, I'm fabulous, and you better believe. Do do do, dom, a flaunting when I haunt it. Snaps! Double snaps! So you slept with James Dean. Oh, you better believe it, honey. Girl, I want details. That man is absolutely delicious. I can tell you how he tasted. <laughs> Girl, you nasty. I like it. Oh, thank you, darling. Do you have any more? <laughs> 
Uh-oh. Oh, Boo. Oh, you scared me. What are you doing over here? Watching her. She's very mysterious. She's beautiful. Go talk to her, Gordon. No. No. I just love playing matchmaker. Are you married? Dating someone? No. I... Um... No. It's just me. Uh, although I do have a ton of ghost friends. Are you allergic to cats? Did you ever kill anybody? War brings out the darkness in a man's soul. I plowed my sword into many a young soldiers laying face down in the mud. We wrestled around like Greek gods till the death. I pine for those days sometimes. Weirdo. Vivian. Please don't embarrass me. I worked really hard on this. This party means so much to everyone. Oh, this ain't the Oscars. Don't kid yourself, sweetie. Everyone's here for the free booze. Excuse me, are you Trudy Whitfield? That's me. Oh, hi. I'm James Dean. Henry invited me. <laughs> You're James Dean. Yeah. The James Dean. I get it. I get it. I'm not that James Dean. No, sir, you are not. Well, I'm afraid there's been a mix-up. It happens all the time. Can a ghost get a drink? Huh? <laughs> Free booze. Told ya. Bye, James. <laughs> Trudy just ran off. No idea where she is. I may have been a little harsh. Trudy's sensitive. Put a little of the old true serum in me and you're gonna get a whole lot of Vivienne showing you the mirror, honey. Henry, why didn't you tell us about James Dean? It's not the real James Dean. Come on, dude. Mention he was black? That is just racist. We're all just different shades of pale in the afterlife. Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Gordon. So you're friends with Black James Dean? It's just James, and yes, we are friends. I mean, he is hot, like real life James Dean. Say, you two would fit together nicely. You want me to set you up? Okay. <laughs> I knew I liked you, oh, boy. and I like your company. Hey. I brought him around for a reason. Mm. Look at that fella with that big smile. I'm looking. Oh, those lips. Those lips. Hey, guys. Oh, holy oh my shit. God. Trudy. I said it was going to be an exciting Halloween. Did, did you kill yourself? Yes. Yes, I did. I just wanted tonight to be special. You all mean the world to me. And now. I'm part of your world. Oh, it's a little dramatic, but I like it. You did this for us? Of course. You are all my soulmates. Now the ghost puns make sense. It's actually pretty awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to make a public apology to my friend Trudy. I was rude earlier, and I was taking your friendship for granted. Trudy is a friend to us all, and now we see she made the ultimate sacrifice to be closer to us. She was just human before, but now she's family. Cheers, darling. Happy Halloween. To Trudy. To Trudy. To Trudy. To Trudy. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, lovely. Trudy. I'm so happy to have you. There you have it. One night of observing the lives of these ghosts has taught me more about humanity than all my years of award-winning investigative journalism. Perhaps there's something to be said for finding life after death. I'm Chip Higgins saying good night and have a boo-tiful Halloween.